Hello, Mut here. Welcome to another video. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you from Arteza. They have these amazing uh, new paints, uh, craft acrylic colors. Uh, they come in a pack of 20 colors. They are similar to the uh, mixed media paints, which are fluid uh, that we are using. Uh, here are the bottles. Uh, they have flip top caps, uh, which I love because then the paint doesn't dry it's uh, safe and uh, all uh, without air they have a good range of colors here uh, that you can uh, mix and create many other colors uh, but uh, in itself it's very good anyway uh, there are a couple of neon colors there are uh, several pastel colors uh, all uh, blues greens all the uh, colors that you need i will swatch it later Show you all the colors i have another box of paints here these are iridescent acrylic colors uh, so they are shiny uh, the kind that we love uh, look how shiny and nice they look uh, here are uh, two three colors that uh, i can show you orange pink very bright yellow which i love uh, and uh, they have a shine to them these are the same uh, acrylic colors fluid uh, but uh, when you uh, paint uh, you will have a nice shine and uh, they will uh, actually look uh, some of them the light colors will look uh, very nice on dark surfaces and uh, in a future video i will show you uh, these paints as well using them on a, a journal page so i swatched uh, all these colors by myself in my uh, color book i have a book a notebook that i use to uh, swatch all the colors of all the paints uh, everything that i have here are the uh, colors for the craft paints the first box that i showed you there is black and white uh, gold and silver uh, for the metallic uh, looks uh, there is fluorescent yellow and orange for neon uh, colors so they have a variety of everything there are two shades of green that i love a lot apple green and forest green there is ruby red orange uh, and lemon yellow uh, then uh, espresso brown for a brown shade uh, arctic blue sapphire blue and sky blue three uh, shades of blue which is very nice especially i love this apple green and arctic blue uh, and then there's royal purple uh, rose pink lilac uh, this and mulberry pink uh, so i think uh, these are all the bases that you need and then if you use black uh, white and other colors you can produce lots and lots of colors and here are the iridescent paints uh, playful pink doesn't show because i think it will look very nice on a dark surface but uh, all the colors are very lovely and different than uh, the craft paints um, as I said this is very uh, light but I will show it in a future uh, project glowing peach is amazing a fiery red shady orange electric plum purple is my absolute favorite it looks amazing fancy black uh, and uh, dreamy lemon yellow very bright lime green i love it's a color that i love anyway and this royal purple and fairy tale blue are beautiful as well uh, especially the fairy tale blue is the is a turquoise uh, shade which uh, i really like it's hard to catch the uh, shine on them uh, but they have a very nice shimmer uh, because they are iridescent and i will be using them in future for sure so now uh, let's uh, create our art journal i have my moleskin sketchbook uh, and uh, i printed out uh, elena's new uh, uh, digital stamps that she put on her etsy shop uh, they have uh, various colors or you can find these uh, without any colors as well i made them bigger uh, for my uh, purposes uh, on the art journal uh, these are the this and these are the advantages of uh, digital stamps you can print them in a size that you wish and she colors them so beautifully uh, that uh, recently i started to print them uh, in color already because uh, i'm lazy and um, but uh, 
as I said, they are available without any color. So black and white for you to give your own colors as well. It all comes together with the same pack. And I will put the link down below uh, at the description area for you to find it. And I will put all the links down below for Arteza as well. And I uh, want to remind you that I have a code that you can get a discount. Uh, so please take advantage of it if you like these uh, products. So I started with uh, this Arctic Blue, uh, the color that I loved. Uh, and uh, I will have a pastel looking uh, page. So I took this lilac um, because the uh, colors on the uh, digital stamps were uh, pastel colors. So I will take that inspiration and uh, continue with that, with that color palette. Uh, that's the advantage of uh, having colored uh, focal points as well. Uh, it gives you the ideas for colors already and it makes your job uh, easier. Uh, and I took this beautiful pastel pink. I'm going to uh, mix all these colors at my background. I didn't uh, just on my pages because uh, these pages uh, are, most skin takes paint nicely. I could gesso as well, uh, but uh, I will use many layers of acrylic paint, so I didn't feel the need. I am blending these colors nicely, and sometimes I spray water to help them move. Uh, the paints are uh, feeling very creamy, very nice, and they have a very nice coverage and uh, very good pigment, so uh, works really nice. I really like them and uh, probably you will see me using them over and over again. I'm just going back and forth uh, between all these uh, three colors uh, until I see uh, uh, the page, the background, uh, to my liking. After these three colors, I also decided to include a little bit of uh, gray because the digital stamp has a bit of gray to it. So I thought it would knock these uh, colors back a little bit, which I wanted, a little bit mute them and also uh, coordinate with the digital stamps. Uh, don't be scared to mix colors or try new things or build colors. Uh, worst case, uh, you will put some gesso or another color on top of it and uh, start again uh, and work until uh, you get what you want. I am also dabbing with a baby wipe uh, to take uh, off the excess until acrylic paint dries. You can t just take it off easily. But it dries quickly, uh, which is the beauty of it. Uh, so you need to act quick. Uh, and uh, after this, I also decided to use a little bit white with my brayer. Uh, again, to push back these colors to the background a little bit. Uh, so I'm using uh, my brush to put it on the brayer. And uh, I'm again using baby wipe when I think it's a bit too much. Uh, this gives a little bit texture as well, which I like. After this, I uh, wanted to play with these uh, foam stamps. Uh, these are uh, block lower, uh, uh, lowercase letters uh, from Tim Holtz. And they are foam uh, stamps. Uh, so they will work with uh, paint really well. Uh, I'm just uh, putting these on my uh, stamping block in a shape that uh, will be interesting. I'm doing background stamping. I'm not going to stamp a uh, sentiment. Uh, just using these uh, mixes uh, to create some interest at the back um, and maybe create a bit of a border. So I put the same acrylic paints, the, the same colors that I used, uh, which is the Ar Arctic Blue. And I'm using a little sponge uh, to put it on my um, foam stamps and I am stamping it with these paints. Uh, I really like uh, stamping with the paints uh, it has a it gives a very nice impression uh, and it's quite easy to apply uh, after you finish uh, stamping uh, you can just easily wipe off wipe off uh, these paints with your baby wipe or water the same goes for the uh, sponge uh, i'm going to clean it with the baby wipe i'm changing the letters uh, and creating another look I'll use the purple color next to make a little pop and uh, make a little bit uh, vibrant. I'm just stamping here and there uh, to create some interest. 
uh, but also uh, trying to create a border with various colors and uh, next I decided to use gray uh, I'm using a little bit darker colors uh, to uh, make it uh, more prominent then I'll go for uh, blue again uh, you will see uh, to complete the border actually and I didn't clean it uh, again so it's a little bit grayish blue which is nice so it creates some variety and after this uh, I wanted to uh, do some splashing so I'm splashing with blue uh, gray and uh, you will see after I will splash also with pink uh, just to uh, create some movement some energy at the back uh, and also uh, just uh, bring everything together and now I will take my uh, beautiful stamps uh, which is a stack of books uh, I love these stamps and uh, you know my love for books so uh, any supply uh, with books brings my two hobbies together which is really a pleasant thing they are just so beautifully done uh, like all uh, Elena's stamps uh, and I'm just I just fussy cut it and I'm uh, going around the edges with my black marker to get rid of the white uh, edges which helps uh, them to show even more perfectly cut uh, and they don't stand out with the white edges I'm going to cut the other stack as well uh, because I will uh, cut them and uh, use it in pieces so I'm going to separate from here and then I will cut even more first I'm going to stick this one uh, I'm using my matte medium uh, at the back of it to stick it and I'm going to cover uh, all of it with matte medium to make it non-porous so I can do the shading afterwards then I'm going to stick this uh, as well and just next to it uh, my aim is to create lots of uh, stacks of books I'm going to cut this part as well uh, my sentiment will be of course about the love for books and I wanted to keep the background a little bit uh, simpler uh, to bring uh, all the focal points to the front and uh, I really love the colors and they are pastel soft uh, so uh, I prefer to have it simpler than uh, I would normally do I also cut these uh, beautiful uh, reading glasses I also need reading glasses unfortunately uh, so uh, for my sentiment uh, I took a, a nice uh, quote uh, from a, a very famous writer I'm just writing it on my label machine uh, this is Dymo label machine and it's not uh, so expensive I bought it from Amazon if you are going to search for it you just write it and uh, press the button for it to print it for you and my uh, sentiment is I have always imagined that paradise will be a kind of library uh, for me too for sure uh, paradise uh, I don't know if it will be a library but it should have lots and lots of books I would actually prefer a castle near the beach uh, with lots of books and uh, lots of coffee <laughs> this quote is from Jorge Luis uh, Borges and uh, he's a Spanish writer very famous and he has very good books after I uh, stick my uh, uh, glasses as well, it's time for to do some shading. I uh, took a dark blue shade and a dark purple shade. Uh, this is Faber Castell pit brush markers, and uh, I'm just going around the books uh, with these two colors uh, to create some shading. I'm using these two colors because the background is multiple colors, so I wanted to make sure uh, it all matches and you know has the same kind of feel I did it also for uh, the other books and I'm going also around uh, these glasses uh, quickly uh, with the blue shade and uh, I'm using my white gel pen to do some highlights uh, on the glasses and on the books uh, it might not show so clearly from the camera because the page is light in itself uh, but it makes a difference uh, anyway to use this uh, gel pen please make sure your page is totally dry and uh, there is no matte medium on it otherwise you will uh, ruin your pen I'm also using this uh, marker with a very fine tip 
uh, and uh, I'm just going around the sentiment of these labels with black uh, which makes a nice difference uh, and uh, I will also go for a border with the same colors that I used so I took the same uh, dark blue uh, shade it's kind of a grayish blue that's why it goes very well with the background I'm just smudging it with my fingers so lightly I don't want to cover all the edges with a lot of blue and uh, I also took a black these are again for Barcastel uh, and just uh, drawing a line uh, all around the edges uh, so that uh, all the black uh, lines match with the page and lastly I'm going to do some white splashes to bring everything together I will call this page done I hope you enjoyed this page uh, I uh, had a lot of fun because it brings uh, my two loves together uh, don't forget that the supplies are down below at the description area together with the discount codes you can see the pictures over Instagram too. If you're not following me, please do. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment, a like or subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.